Today we're going to do a simple CTF and we're going to have to start out by doing a uh, scan but on the box when I booted it up it already showed us what the IP address was so we didn't have to scan the whole um, network for it we just had to scan this one IP address so here we found that um, all these different ports are open um, the main one I saw was 80 so it clearly has a website going and if you go back here you can see that robots.txt is there so that's definitely something to look at so when you go through here um, normally under SSL cert you can see some common names or some names that you definitely want to try and sign into so we'll start out by opening it up So when we get here we see it's a picture and nothing too great so we're going to go to the robot page and so when I get here I definitely want to start a derb test And this will just find all the different um, files that are uh, on the web page that we can check out. And so, as you can see, as it's going, it's a WordPress page, as we saw in here. So, when we figure that out, we know that it's going to have a WordPress admin page. And those tell you what the um, if you get the username right. So, now that we see this, while this is running we'll open up another window and do a WordPress scan WP scan the URL so 10.0.2.21 and we want to enumerate We gotta put the extension on here also. There we go. So while that's running, we'll go check out the web page more and see what we can find. So where is the other It's still going, but I'm sure we already have enough. So if we go look at here, minimize this. So if we look here, we can see that there's a WP admin. So we're gonna try and sign in there with some common usernames and passwords and see what we can figure out. So we go to WP admin. So when we get here, I automatically try admin password. Now as you can see that it says that admin is correct. So we know we have a username, so now all we need to do is figure out the password. So before we brute force, brute force it, I'm gonna try some basic ones like administrator, admin, And so there it was, it was admin. So it wasn't very hard, there's no brute forcing involved. So we don't even need to run a WordPress scan anymore because, or we can exit, and we can exit out of the derb scan because we don't need that information now that we're already in. So when you get into WordPress, you automatically know that you can put in a um, SSH shell and um, get into the server easily. So um, the way I like to do is I like to go to appearance and editor 
And since I don't really care about how the site looks after this, since it's not a real website, um, I tend to do things in the header section, so all I have to do is load the page, and um, it'll call back to my computer, and that way I can be in the system. So we're going to need to start off by getting the reverse shell. So um, this is a reverse shell from Pentest Monkey, so if I'll show you. And here it is, it's right here, it's the first one. Um, here's a few really good tools, so I would definitely use them. So we'll go back to here. So with the reverse shell, um, you gotta make sure that's my IP address. I have config. So yes, it's still 10.0.2.15. So that's right, and we're going to be using port 1234. So all I have to do is copy this entire file. Go to the header, which I want to um, edit. And completely replace everything that was in there with this reverse shell. So now that it's in there, all I have to do is update the file. So now I'll open up a terminal again, and um, using netcat, I'll listen for it. So netcat, the help page. So we're going to want to do netcat um, dash l for listener, for listen mode. We're going to want to use N for IP address, V for verbose, and P for port. And then we're going to want to do 1, 2, 3, 4 for the port number, and now we're listening. So once I load this page, we should be put into the server. And we're in. And let me exit out of this. Okay, so now that we're in, um, we're not in a very good shell, so at first we'll see who we are, and as you can see, we're www.data. So we don't have a lot of privileges. So um, now that we're here, um, it's hard to work with this shell because it's not very um, clear, and it's just like ugly. So what you can do is you can put in a Python script, and what it does is it basically just puts it into a nice, neat shell. I don't know why it's what not working, but here we'll try it again. There we go. So now it works. So as you can see, it's a much easier terminal to work with. And so as I was going through a lot of the important files, so um, first we'll see what we are. So as you can see, this is the um, what the server is running. So um, when I saw this, I looked up exploits in, um, on exploit database for things I could use to get into the server easily, but um, couldn't really find anything that was too useful so I uh, went and just searched around all the different files in the server so um, when I went to the var file and then went to www I noticed that there was a WordPress file so I entered that and when I was in here and I list all the files you can see that the fig files in there which normally has usernames and passwords. So I catted that. So let me do that. 
And so once you open it and you read through it, you can see that it has the MySQL database password right here, simply in it. So that's the password to get in. So when I did this, I saw that I went back to the ports that were open. And if you go to ports, you see that they have SSH open. So I SSH'd into the box in the root. And we found the final flag. Root at point zero point two point two one is fine. And now root password explanation point. And as you can see, we're in root. I'm going to here and go to clear so it's bigger. And right there is the final flag. We can cat it. And bam, we got root. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like the video.